So we've got a little production line going on here. The glamorous assistant is cleaning off the um, the frames that were, have all been damaged by a wax moth basically and she's on her last one though, look at it. Oh there's three there, okay. Yes. Um, what I've been doing is putting the wax, uh, all the dud wax and stuff in here which then will um, will boil up to make candles etc and these are new wax sheets to go in all the cleaned up frames uh, so I'll give you a quick demonstration on how to do that okay welcome back guys uh, yeah as you've seen we're doing the, um, the high frames uh, basically we're putting new foundation on here so um, I'll give you a quick demonstration on how that is done or well, you've seen all the old stuff that we've taken off now if you look at the frames they have a, a groove along the top bar and it's slightly offset. Um, sorry, the, the wires are slightly offset from the groove, yeah? So, what, what we do is a bit warm, as you can see, the everything's a bit uh, warm and bendy, but you have to make the foundation fit into that groove in the bottom. There, I just dropped in then. There, see? And then, once it's in that groove, make sure you've got an even gap on both ends here and here and then you apply I've got under the table here I have um, a 12 volt battery with just two cables on it yeah so basically what they say you do is you put one at the bottom here and one at the top here but um, we find it easier to touch against the wires where they go through and you literally just touch it so like so and see the way the wire is melted into the wax yeah so we'll do this this one here watch quickly you see that it's such a quick thing that one yeah sometimes they don't touch and there we go see that see the back now where they the wire is actually melted into the wax and that's your foundation and that's where the bees are going to build from and make us more honey we hope okay as you can see this this one here the, the wires are really slack for some reason so what we can do to rectify that is un, untwist it so it's just twisted around grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it tight until it snaps Yes. Yeah. So as you can see this one, the wires are really slack, yeah? So to tighten the wires, we need to unwind it from itself here. Like so. And then um, to pull it tight, just grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it tight. And then pull it up 90 degrees. And then rewind it, rewind it around itself again. Job done. And I'll just show you how to put the foundation. Again, the uh, the wires are offset from the centre line. We we'll just grab our pre-made piece of foundation. It's got a little dent in it at the bottom there. Uh, drop it in there and make sure it goes in that slot like so even space each end yeah and then um, we just apply the wires again just on the wire there see how quick it happens And that's it. I know it's windy, but look at this.
So Cindy Vine turned up this morning and brought us a brought me a nice little gift to to borrow from her. It's uh, a post hole borer. Um, I'll make great use of that. So thanks, Cindy. That's awesome. And while she's here, she's also getting a haircut. Not looking very happy about it. I am. I'm grinning. I'm grinning. <laughs> Oh, look at this pig love. <laughs> He's jealous. He's trying to like lift her up so he can lie there. So we're just um, just checking if the water's running. Also checking to see <clears throat> if our spiders are doing alright. And oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, they're alright. Look at them, they're all like raving. <laughs> There's yeah. thousands of them, that is mad. Alright. Oh. <clears throat> yep, I think our spider collection is doing quite well. What's she doing there, wife? Nuts or hazelnuts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, I was just watching Frankie off grid late at night. And this lunatic has just flew in. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. You don't need to be here. You don't need to be here. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Where are you going? Come on. Come on. We'll take you to a safe place. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A safe place is I'm going to throw you outside. Come on. Come on. Yeah. There we go. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Amazing creatures. Hey mate, go there. Go there. On it. Right, little surprise this morning. We have, I show off to get them out. Looks like a little owl. So, I shall... He will see the doors open now. Quinn, come on. Right, I shall go into the get out you two. Go on. Hopefully, come on, little mate. Lovely. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. So, so beautiful. Right, let's see if I can persuade him to go out. Come on then. Come on. I don't really think that's it. Beautiful. Off he went. I missed it, but it's free now. Thankfully, none of the cats saw him. So here's a beautiful Albertine here this morning. So we had a few, uh, well, Ant was watering and um, then all of a sudden the watering cut out, or the water stopped. So I can... Thank you, Pump. Uh, on the advice of some of our subscribers, thanks guys, uh, I put some air in this... Um, what would you call that? Pressure vessel, I suppose. Pressure tank. Expansion vessel, something like that. There's a little valve on the top. I put some air in it. Very difficult to get air in it. I don't know why. It, it was. Um, I had to hold the... The end on really firm. Put some air in it, and now she's still watering, but it only cuts in every now and again to build the pressure back up, which is exactly what we want. Um, because before it was just cutting in and out, in and out all the time. So uh, hopefully I've cured it for now. But this is the second time I've done this, so I don't know if anyone can suggest um, what I need to do. Can I get a new diaphragm in here, or or what? I don't know. But um, any ideas would be great. Thank you. And there's a little compressor. Grand job. So the next little job I have is 
and if you can see them up there in the corner we have some paper wasps in Max's kennel which is making Max not want to go in here I can understand uh, problem is I was <coughs> I was going to use the old um, stick a cup over that and then then uh, scrape them off with the top of that and then take and bring them out problem is they're right in the corner and uh, yeah I won't be able to do that so I might have to put my bee suit on and uh, try a different method of getting these guys out of here. Oh. So we bottled out and we're trying a different approach now. I want to try and catch them. I just want to rehome them, not kill them. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I feel much safer now. So here it goes. Uh, I'm going to attempt to put this box in the corner. Get in here. Oh my god, oh yeah. Okay. I'm going to put the box underneath in the corner. Like so. Yeah, and I'm going to try and get this on a wide angle. So here it goes. <laughs> said there. <laughs> Feisty little buggers. Right. Oh. On close examination, there are no young in the nest anyway. So they must have just been just hatched out. Or, you know, young adults, so they're going to have to find a new home now. Well, that's, that's good. That's good for the news. <coughs> as long as you don't try and build a, a new place in here, that'll be fine. Okay. So. So we're off on a little road trip. Well, actually, we're going to uh, hospital in Corbia. I've got to go to an appointment for my chest. I've got to have a respiratory, respiratory Tests. Uh, well, I'm just along for the ride. Uh, an X-ray, and then I got to go and see my consultant. All within the space of an hour, so that's yeah, pretty good. So um, that's where we're off. Yeah, busted. So we just got home from uh, Korea, and it looks like it was a Benelli Eagle just took off. Then I don't know if we caught it. It's taking one of our. Not on closer inspection. It's um. It's not one of our chicks. It's a white dove. I know there's a guy who lives up here with white doves, so uh, he's probably lost one of them. Yeah. So the reason we thought it was um, one of our chicks, we came around the corner, and there's this big pile of feathers, and uh, there's an eagle here eating the bird. We thought it was one of our white chicks. Turns out it's uh, it's not. So good news for us. Bad news for the guy who lives. I think in this house up here uh, has has a few white doves. He flies. We've got one less now. So there we go, guys. Um, back home from Kovia with a, a big haul of medicine, uh, inhalers, and antibiotics and um, steroids. So should make me better. So although they've got a bowl each, Bertie wants to eat out of everyone else's, don't you? And make these weird noises when he disagrees with them. Can you? Oh. Oi! <coughs> Stop that! Hey. So there's me, forgot my camera mount, but going one handed.
<laughs> cool. How's it going? This bit's the easy bit. Yeah. I'm just going to demonstrate how to do the standy up bit in a minute. <laughs> So this is my first time uh, stand up cord paddle boarding as well guys, so I'll just try and record some of this camera. Um, I am, uh, you thought Andrew's wobbly. Whoa! Join in! He'll not. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I don't know, I think just practice will make you less wobbly, to be honest. With camera. Yeah. Be in here. See you very well, don't you? Look that way. Awesome. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, a bit of all sorts this week. Uh, it's, it's still really hot to do anything major outside at the moment, unfortunately, but we're getting less yeah. little bits and pieces. So. so yeah, bits and pieces this week, but now the weather's cooling down, we're below 30 from, from now on, I think. Uh, so yeah, fingers crossed, and we might get some rain one day as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll be starting the outside work, the jobs at My greenhouse. greenhouse. Greenhouse, number one, priority-ish, fencing on the pig, for the pigs. Uh, although we've got the um, electric, no, the borehole, uh, the, the hole borer from oh, Cindy yes, yeah. to put the fence up because of the weather, we're not allowed to use it yet. Uh, we're not allowed to use uh, motors outside, so because we're in extreme fire risk situation still. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll have to uh, hold back on that. For hold a bit. back, on <laughs> that. yeah. But. Um, yeah, like we say, thank, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your likes and and uh, subscribes. And, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye. Don't forget, ring oh. that notification bell. <laughs> so the pigs, uh, Angie's been trimming the oregano. Just more oregano? I'm going to go into these guys, and they're not particularly keen. Chuck the whole lot in there. Because apparently it's really good for them. But Well, not, yeah, big pile of it. Let's see what they do. Well, we'll stand in it. Yeah. Mm, what's Ooh, this we, stuff? We don't really know what to do with it. Yeah. Hi, Cindy. You all right? Is the fence on? No. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't like that, then. No. This is not a bloody orange or something, is it? <laughs> so give us an apple or an orange. <laughs>